Hey, welcome to Structure Fishing. I'm Jim Shell. I've got a video report, an educational report on my recent trip to uh, Lake St. Clair, uh, early spring smallmouth bass fishing. Uh, let's first start this, talk, give me a little bit about Lake St. Clair for those of you that are not familiar with Lake St. Clair. Uh, some people think Lake St. Clair is one of the Great Lakes. It is not, uh, but it is considered part of the Great Lakes waterway. Uh, of course, you got Lake Michigan, and then you got Lake Huron, Erie, uh, Lake Ontario, oh, and up here Lake Superior. But uh, Lake St. Clair is located in between Lake Huron and Lake Erie. Um, the flow goes south, so water goes from Lake Huron into Lake St. Clair, and then out into Lake Erie. Uh, now let's talk about Lake, Lake St. Clair. Uh, it is... It has a great reputation for being an excellent smallmouth bass fishery, trophy musky fishery. Uh, it also has very good walleye fishing, uh, perch, and uh, white bass as well. It's it's a very good lake. Uh, it's a pretty good sized lake. It's 430 square miles. It has an average depth of 11 feet and a maximum depth of 27 feet. So it's a fairly shallow body of water. And uh, as you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, the lake borders USA, which is in uh, Michigan and uh, uh, Canada. It looks like to me about roughly uh, 55, 60 percent of the lake is in Canada, uh, and uh, the uh, west or northwest portion of the lake is in Michigan waters. Uh, let me talk about the regulations right now because I know this will come up. Some of you may be wondering, I'm going to pull it on a, on a screen right here. Uh, this is from the uh, uh, 2019 Michigan Roll Book here. And it says, uh, for largemouth uh, and smallmouth bass, catch and immediate release on all waters open all year for catch and release. And if you want to keep bass uh, for the Lake St. Clair area here, that season starts June 15th till December 31st. Uh, but it is legal to fish for bass on the Michigan side, the U.S. side of Lake St. Clair, uh, as it is catch and release. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Michigan changed this in the last uh, three or four seasons, that they made it legal to fish for uh, bass year-round as long as uh, it is catch and release. And on the Canadian side here, let me pull up their regs. Uh, this falls underneath what they call Zone 19, if you want to look it up in your regulations yourself. And you can see here, for largemouth and smallmouth bass, uh, there is a season. And it starts the fourth Saturday in June. And uh, But you can fish on the Canadian side year-round for northern pike, and for walleye, and for perch. Uh, looks like you can fish year-round for everything <laughs> except bass and muskies uh, and lake trout, although I don't believe we're going to find lake trout in Lake St. Clair. So when we're talking about early season smallmouth bass fishing, we're limited to the U uh, U.S. side, the Michigan side of the lake, uh, as you cannot fish for bass on the Canada side until June, uh, or until the fourth uh, Saturday in June. So that limits us to the uh, U.S. side. So let's talk about that. Now, you know, Buck Perry, we're following Buck Perry's guideline here. Two, two important things on this trip that we learned. N number one, the home of the fish is deep water. And as I just said earlier, Lake St. Clair is not very deep. Uh, but, you know, whatever the deepest water available in the area you're fishing is the home of the fish. Uh, let's zoom in here and just show you up here in Anchor Bay. You know, outside the main shipping channel, uh, the lake is fairly shallow. It, it, it probably averages 15 to 17 feet, uh, most of the lake here. Uh, and this uh, Anchor Bay is a very popular uh, north part of Lake St. Clair. It's very popular. They catch, first off, they catch smallmouth bass over the entire lake. I mean, you, you, can't, you can pretty much go anywhere in this lake and find uh, a, a smallmouth bass. You know, some areas obviously are going to have bigger schools, bigger populations than other spots. Um, but uh, you can pretty much catch smallmouth bass anywhere in this lake. Uh, so 
the home of the fish is the deepest water in the area you're fishing. Now, if I was fishing up here in Anchor Bay here, you can only see deepest water is, is pretty much outside the, the, the channels, uh, river channels, is pretty much 14 feet. So if I'm fishing this part of the lake over here, you know, my home of the fish is going to be this 14, 13 foot area. Uh, but what I'm looking for, uh, for these spawning, or I'm catching these fish pre-spawn, uh, active pre-spawn. Um, they're probably not going to, I, I'm guessing that these fish won't actually go in the beds and spawn until probably uh, middle end of May. Um, and I never, personal preference, I just never fish for bedding bass. Uh, but pre-spawn bass, uh, they're pretty active, and you can have a ball doing it. Um, now, the fish are going to migrate towards um, the shallows of the spawn. So you want to look for routes, migration routes, that lead them to the shallows. And uh, you're typically going to find um, uh, channels or uh, uh, slots, deep water slots or channels that lead to the shallows. And if you find those, you're going to have a really good chance of finding a lot, a lot of uh, large mouth, uh, I'm sorry, smallmouth bass here. Let's take a look at some of these. Now, Navionics map, you know, it's a great aid and it, it'll get you in the ballpark. It'll give you some general ideas, but it's not 100% accurate. There's probably some some channels, you know, that aren't that may only be a foot or two difference. Uh, but the fish are going to recognize it. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb to the fish, and it's going to lead them, you know, to uh, the shallows. Um, but let's take a look at, uh, so we're, we're looking for channels or deep slots that go towards the shores, to, to shallows, that these fish are going to use in their migration for uh, the spring here. And I'll take a look at uh, some of these areas here, or, or deep water uh, uh, pockets here, like right here. We've got this 15-foot uh, area of deep water uh, that's surrounded by all this shallow water. I guarantee you, you you're going to find uh, some smallmouth in here. Uh, but let's take a look. Now, you've got a couple of river channels that enter the lake here. You can see over here. Uh, the main channel is probably going to be this one over here where you're going to have most of the flow going through. But, uh, you know, here's the channel right here. Deep, deep slot here. You're going to have fish uh, this time of the year, early spring. These fish are going to be stacked up in, the, in these channels and slots like this. And in this case, it, you know, it leads to the shallows, which is, you know, four foot, two foot here. You got spawning areas here. This would be a prime area that you want to fish. You got a, looks like you got a deep water slot over here. That's going to hold fish right now. Um, let's look around. Um, you can see right here that it looks like you got indication of a channel going in here towards the sh shore, the shallows. That's going to be a spot that's going to hold these pre-spawn fish. This in the, looks like you got an indication of a channel over here. We're going to have to go out there on the water, you know, w with our electronics, with our lures, and verify that these slots, these channels exist. Some of these channels may stick out like a sore thumb and have a pretty distinct break line you know, by three, four, five feet or more. And some of these channels may be only a foot or two foot uh, break line. Uh, but to the fish, they're going to recognize it and uh, it, it's going to be a pathway migration route for them towards the shallows. So we've got a few more over here. Um, you got an obvious channel coming over here. Actually, it's going into a uh, river, it looks like. Yeah. Um, let's just keep on going down. And we're staying on the U.S. side here. It looks like there's indication of a channel going over here, um, and I'm sure that that's going to be a great migration route. Um, right over here, you, you got another uh, channel going over here. I'm sure that the you know once again the home, the home of the fish is the deepest water in the area that you're fishing. So if I'm in this area here, this is the deepest water in the area, and it's just these channels are just a magnet for these uh, smallmouth bass. To stage up in their uh, pre-spawn. Keep on going down the lake here. Uh, you'll see some more, you know, there's some channels here going in to these boat docks over here. And another tool to find some of these channels, um, you know, let me switch over to Google Maps here. Uh, here's Google Maps. I've got it on a satellite image, you know, or you can go to Google Earth, the same thing. You can see 
on here as well where United States and Canada is. But let's zoom in here and you'll be surprised that you can see channels on Google Earth there. Give you an idea. Right here, you've got a channel coming out over here. You can see these channels, uh, some of these channels pretty distinct on Google Earth here coming out. Got a channel here. I mean, uh, you know, we got some good technology. Look at this. You can really just see that you got a really wide, you know, it looks like a, a deeper channel that comes in over this slot. Uh, this would be a prime location to fish for these pre-spawn fish. And, you know, you got some smaller channels going over here. I mean, you know, that's that's a migration route for these smallmouth to get to the shallows of the spawn. And that's what we're talking about. So, um, so now we know where to target these smallmouth bass, these pre-spawn smallmouth bass. So now it just comes down to, uh, you know, uh, speed control. Uh, on this trip that I'm going to show you the video at the end here, um, you know, we our weather conditions were, were marginal. And we started trolling the edge of the channel here, the brake line up on top uh, for about 30, 40 minutes. We didn't get any fish. So we put down the anchor. We started uh, casting the area. And we got two or three fish uh, in the first 30, 40 minutes. Um, but, I, you know, it's one of those things. I know the fish are there. It's just a matter of getting the right depth and speed control. Buck Perry always says you have to answer all fishing successes and failures in the term of depth and speed control. Now, it was pretty confident I knew where the fish were at. I tried a faster speed on a troll to locate the fish, didn't get anything. I threw out a blade bait, which is a faster jump bait, didn't get anything on that. And then we were throwing, you know, creature baits, uh, Texas rig or whatever, uh, working the bottom. And we did get a few fish, but then I wanted to try the, the, really the slowest speed without using artificials that you can do. So I threw a tube jig out there. And I just crawled this two jib on the bottom. I mean, <laughs> like about, you know, as slow with speed and sometimes even pausing it for a few seconds and then moving it a little bit. And as soon as I did that, that very slow speed control, it was game on and we were catching a lot of smallmouth. We, we had a blast doing it. And I think I caught six in a row when I switched to the tube and got that very slow speed control. Uh... I, caught, I think it was at least six in a row, maybe seven, before Casey uh, switched to uh, a tube as well and did the same thing I was doing. It was that very slow speed control. Now, you know, the average fisherman may, if, if he made a catch like that, would obviously give, may get, more than likely give the credit to the tube jig. Oh, we killed them on tubes. They wanted tube jigs today. No, what the fish wanted was a slow speed control. But don't get stuck in a rut because you caught them on a very slow speed control the one day, you know, the next day or the next week or the next year, your weather and water conditions may be completely different and you'll catch them on a faster speed control. Uh, when I was out here a few years earlier uh, fishing for these uh, uh, pre-spawn bass, uh, it was a faster speed control. Uh, I was trolling and the fish were very aggressive, taking the troll lures. Uh, when I went to the cast, I was using a jump bait, and if you're familiar with a jump bait, you give it a really good rip. You got a really fast speed, and uh, we're catching a lot of smallies in. So you always have to check your speed control. That's one, like I said uh, just a few minutes ago. Buck Perry always says, all fishing successes and failures are answered in terms of depth and speed control. So you always got to check it out. On this particular trip, it was a slow speed, and once we got that slow speed turned in we had a blast um, due to the strong winds we weren't able to do much fishing out here Friday and Saturday but on Sunday when we had light south winds we were able to get out there and once we determined the speed control I think we boated uh, around 35 quality smallmouth bass on Saturday uh, Sunday on Sunday and uh, out of those 35 bass I want to say at least 25, 26, seven of them were four pounds and larger. And this is a quality smallmouth bass fishery you have here. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you the fishing. Uh, we, <laughs> I did the edit on the fishing videos, and we had almost an hour of pure fish catching videos, which is, I don't want to bore you. I'm not, I don't have an hour of video. I've got, I think, about maybe 20 minutes of, uh, of me catching fish on here. And if you want to see more of the trip that we had on there, I'll leave a link at the end for Casey's YouTube channel. And you can see uh, all the fish he caught if you're interested in that. 
Uh, thanks for watching. All right, guys, my dad's hooked up. Oh, yeah. A nice one? Should I get the net? No, 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 I'll lip him. Alright, you'll lip him. <laughs> Ooh, look at this fight. This is awesome. Oh man. There's nothing better than catching small ones. We got perfect wind conditions, not fishing conditions. But, oh, that's a nice one. They're yep. all the size of them. This is the average size. That's the thing about it. I'm using a I switched to a tube, and I, just as I started dragging it, dragging it on the bottom slow, the thing just sucked it up. Sweet. Sweet, all right. All right, that's another. That's prob that guy's probably right. maybe four. Yeah, they're all four. We're, we're only going to weigh them if we think they're five or better. Yep. All right, right. We'll take a picture of this more. guy. And finally hooked up here. My dad's going to look at this guy. Four to one, I think he's still down. Yeah, things have really slowed down here, but we're hoping for an activity period, maybe. There you go. That's about a three. Eight, three and a half, maybe? Yep. Sweet. Two. Slow speed, very slow speed. Yeah, that guy's got some weird stuff on him. Yeah, they, they all hit spots on him. I think that's just from being in the bottom. Yeah. All right. All right. Is this guy going? Yep. All right. Let's get small. Is it a nice one? There might be a little activity for you now. Oh, yeah. you need the net? Dude, that's a nice one. That's a chuck. You sure? That's a real nice one. It's like a four pounder. Oh yeah, he jugged it. Oh yeah, he crushed, crushed the tube here. Oh, that's a nice one. Dude, we're gonna have to weigh that one. Oh, look at it, yeah, he jugged it right. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, this, this, this thing's gotta be fine. Yep. We'll weigh him, make sure. That's an awesome, oh, awesome All right, fish. get the hook out. Yep. Guys, here's our big fish. I let him go. He was, what, four and a half? Yep. I thought he was five. Four, was four, four ten. Four ten. All right, let's get some more. Get some more. All right, guys. My dad's just, I'm doing the same exact thing as him, and I well, can't. I missed one, like, not even five minutes ago. See. I had him on for about five seconds, and this one, I felt that tap, tap. Oh, 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 oh. I'll get that next. Yeah, we might need another this one. He's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, oh, that's a big one. He's barely That's hooked. a big one. Yep, we're weighing this guy. Oh, my gosh. That might be a oh. five. Oh, five. This is this is five and a half. That's a tank. Oh. oh. All right, let me back up that. here. <laughs> That's a nice fish. This is what we came here for, man. That is a beauty smallmouth. Slow speed control. That's been this whole trip has been slow speed control. Just drag, literally dragging us on the bottom. And he felt that. Tap, tap, set the hook, and there he was. Awesome. Show that belly. <laughs> this is the seventh one in the boat today now. Yep. And we missed probably another five or six as well. Yeah. I think they might be picking up, man. Let's get some more. Yep. Dad's yeah, got another one. Oh. Number uh, eight, I think, in the boat now. Yep. It's a nice one. They're all, they're all pretty nice. It's a slow speed control today. Very slow speed control. Another fat pig. That's, that's probably three, three and a half. It's a nice fish. Oh yeah, no, man, he smacked that tube. Just dragging on the bottom. Like I say, it's been a slow speed control all day. Got him right on the side of the mouth there. There you go. Nice little bronze back. Yep. Okay, well, we just got to a new spot, and my dad didn't know he had one on. No, he hit, he hit pretty close to the boat. He tapped it. He took pretty good. Right in the top. Yep. It's a nice one. About a four pounder. Oh, yeah. Dad's not the best landing fish. 
There we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice one, long one. Yeah. Look at that, right? Boom. Oh, it just popped out. Yep. That's the, uh... That's your eighth or seventh. Seventh. Ninth in the boat. Nice. Let's get some more. Yep. Okay, well, we just got to Whoa. another new spot. <laughs> we... The anchor still wasn't all the way down, and I just hooked him. Is it a nice one? Well, he's... he's He's fighting good now. Oh yeah. Oh, shit. oh, did you get that jump? That is cool. Oh, that is cool. Get the net? Uh, no, no, no. He, he's about to he's sell it for maybe four and a half. I'll just get him. I he's quit. Like... My dad's caught. How many have you caught yet? Uh, this is number eight. Oh yeah. Bigger than I thought, number eight. <laughs> That's a nice one. He's 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 four and a half, maybe four and three quarters. <laughs> Whoa! That's a tank. Yeah, that's a tank. All right. All right, man. Get some pictures, maybe. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is this one's, I'd say four and four quarters, maybe over just over four and a half. We'll see how close I am. Yep. All right. But just got another one, the same cast. Second cast. Second cast. Case man, you gotta you gotta. Can't I'm switching the two. I'm switching the two. I can't do that anymore. We'll have two in the boat now. Oh my gosh. Oh my. And the one, that one that my five dad just had, five, five pounds, nine ounces. Over five and a half. That one's probably just three and a half pounds or three pounds. That guy keeps on jumping. There we go. Awesome. Let's awesome. compare these two. Yep. I'll get this guy. Look at, look at, man. Look, I smacked him right in the center there, man. Oh. Here, let's, now, that's a five and a half, over, just over five and a half. This one's probably about a three and a half. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Wait, hold on. Let me measure. 5.9 pounder. All right, here, here we go. Five such pounds. Beautiful, such nine beautiful ounces. bass here, man. Well, there he goes. There he goes. All right, guys, that was my dad's boy. Ninth fish now? Tenth fish? I can't remember. Ninth fish, I think. But uh, hopefully we can get some more. I am definitely switching over to the tube on my braid rod so I can feel everything. But all right, guys, let's get some more. My dad's got another one. The very three next cast. Three. Very next cast. Three casts, three bass. Casey hasn't even made I a cast yet. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, no, it's I'll, 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 I'll land this one for you. No, I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Sure. Yeah. Now nah, you're pretty bad at it. Oh, oh, you want to thumb them? All right. Come on. There. Got All right. Whew. There you go. Hold, hold here, your here, bass. Here, here. Go, get back out there, Dad. Three for three. We are on them, Get folks. back out there. Get back out there. Get back out there. Okay, well... I'm just gonna let my dad fish. What is that? Nice four, four pounder. Oh, he's a solid four. Okay, let's flip the camera around here. I'm three for three. So let's see if we can go four for four. There's four pounder. Nice chunky fish. Gonna get the release for you guys. But that's my dad's 11th fish. There he is. Dad's getting all these fish on the tube. Whoa, okay. All right, guys. Let's get some more. All right, my dad's got one. Dad's got one. Yeah, smaller oh, one. Smaller but one, but hey, the, we're getting action. The, this getting is action. fifth fish in like 10 minutes. Right up, this is, Yep. Oh, don't break your rod. <laughs> that guy jugged it. All this right. is right after Casey got his. Yep. All right, all right, here, just get your retrieve going. All right, all right, guys, that's my dad's, the 11th or 12th. All right, let's get some more. Hey, that feeling, man. All right, guys, my dad's got one. Oops. Oh, he's barely hooked. No, you so good. Oh. I think, we'll see. <laughs> got a barge going. About a three pounder. Yeah. Another one for the day. Yep. 
Awesome. I just had a good feeling. We, we got to a new spot. I was feeling a lot of, you know, what's holding these fish here, we got that deep channel, and the, and the active fish are on top of the brake line. The channel's around 22, 23 feet. The top of the brake line is around 15, 16. But then you got rock piles scattered on top of the brake line. These active fish are on the top, on the on these rock piles, and I was feeling these those rocks down there. And I think there's a few more down there waiting for us. So as Casey always says, let's get some more. All right, guys. Dad's got another one. First cast, and another another spot. First we, cast. Oh, we're at. Oh, tanks! These guys are tanks. Ooh, yeah, he's, a, nice he, he, he's over four. Yep. Oh, this guy's real brown. Just another football of a fish, man. Come on. Sweet. Man, they're all like this. That guy's really brown. Yeah. Look at that. Almost as big as my arm. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Look at that nice coloring on that guy. All right, man. That was the first cast of spot. Yep. Let's get some more. Yep. All right, guys. My dad's got another one on. The oh. exact cast after. Second cast. Maybe we're having a movement here. Oh. We're in a new spot here, and I think I think there's a nice pot of fish on this spot. Look at that. Oh, you want to get him? Yeah. Oh, he might be five. He might be five. He dug it. Got him? Nope. He keeps on moving. There. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh. look at the belly on this oh, thing. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Ooh, he he's, jugged it. He's got to be close to five. He jugged it. He's probably five. Yeah, yeah. That was my second cast. My tube is just over, almost shot over here. Nice. Yeah, he's throwing up what looks to be a crawfish. Oh, okay. Just a crawfish claw. Oh, man. I might need a picture with that guy because that's, that's another beast. Yep. All right, let's wait and get a picture. Yep. All right, guys, my dad. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's my gosh. Take. Dude, no, that, that's the biggest one of the day. Dude. I don't think so. You think so? Yeah. I think so. I'll get him. I'll get him. Okay. They look so big in the water. He, he's, he's a solid five. You got him? Thank you. Oh. 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 <laughs> I think he's bigger than five. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll weigh this one. I, I got him. Ow. Damn. Yep, dude. yep, yep, yep. I might, get, I might need a picture of this guy. Holy cow. Holy cow. I need pliers. Oh. I think this spot's better than the other spot. Dude, I felt so light of a hit. You really got to pay attention because these fish are hitting so loud. We're going such a slow speed. I told Casey that fish felt like a feather touching you. As soon as I felt that little tap, I just bam, and he was there. Oh man! All right, guys, five pounds six ounces. It I looks a whole would. lot bigger than that. Yeah. There's such beautiful fish here. Yep. All right. All right. Let's get some more. Yep. Yeah. Wow, well, guys. I literally, I was like, all right, we're about to get ready to move here. Whoa. Dad's gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That, that might Not be a nice. five. I mean, I mean, we've caught, we've caught a dozen of them like this already today, though. But yeah, it is a nice one. You got him? No, yeah. Just, you just wait till I grab this thing. This thing. Oh, dude, this might this might break five and a half. Through the camera. You, do you think that? I don't know. We thought the other one was gonna break five and a half, but it was only five six. No, this is the biggest one of the day. Dude. All right, man. We, no, I don't. I don't think so. It had to be over five ten. Yeah, biggest we've had is five okay. ten. Maybe. maybe I want to get a. Close. I want to get a, a six on this trip. So we will see. Oof. All right. Look at that fish. All right. Maybe I'll take another picture with that one. Yep. I can't, I can't. All right, we're gonna weigh him. He's so heavy. Come back. What is meaning by? Right. He was, what, 
five, five, five and a half pounds. Five exactly. eight. Yep. Five pounds eight ounces. Exactly five and a half. A tank. A tank. tank. Small enough. All right. We'll get the release. Ooh. What a beautiful. Fish. I I think we got at least thirty so far today. Look at the belly. It started out really slow. That is unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get awesome back in. Fish. Let's get her back in. Just a dark, dark fish. They've been varying in colors. Awesome. <clears throat> awesome fish. All right, guys. Let's get some more. All right, guys. Dad's got another oh, one. Third or fourth cast. Missed one of the earlier casts. Oh, oh yeah. That's a nice one. Brian's back there. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's a good four. Yep. My dad missed one on the previous cast before this, too. Nice fish. Just, work, just working that uh, tube, crawling on the bottom. It's a still a slow speed. You're just just like yesterday, feeling I'm just ticking it. I think I get the pliers. Dad's got another one on. Casey just missed one and five seconds later I got mine. Yep, that was your first cast, wasn't it? Um, second. Second. This is, like every spot, like every new spot we go to, we get one right away, pretty much. That's like that's a nice chunk. That's our, what, that's your third of the day, so we caught four on this one. <coughs> four so far this morning, yeah. Oh, that, that guy was not coming off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he got, that's the same, same spot I hooked the other one in. Yep. Now you need the players to get that out. Perfect. All right. All right, let's get some more. You need the net? No, he hit, he's coming up me now. He hit harder. I mean. Oh, he did? Yeah, just Oh, it's a small one. Okay. I thought he was a bigger one, but. I mean, he's small and quite so good. Like, got to pick the money. Oh, yeah, that's probably why it felt big. All these smallies are fat, dude. Like, they're, they're, I don't think there's a smallie in Lake St. Clair that uh, doesn't, that isn't fat. Oh, yeah. That guy wasn't coming off. He, like, double pierced him. Oh, okay. Let's see how he's hooked. Oh, yeah, he's... There we go. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Probably as small as when we got on the trip. Yeah. But that's still a nice smallie. Yep. Casey is hooked up again. This is just minutes after his last one. We thought we were done for the day. Whoa. What you got going on there? It's a big fish. Oh. Hey, this is, this is a, oh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. My God. Dude. Whoa. Dude. Oh. I, he looks like a monster. I won't net him. Oh yeah, he's so dark colored. Oh, I don't know. He that one profile of him, he looks so stinking big. Oh. Ooh. Dude, dude, <laughs> this is the biggest one of the day. You think so? I think. Dude. Oh my god, are we gonna are we gonna end? This is huge. We're gonna end today on, on on this one if it is the biggest one of the day. This is the darkest fish. Oh, look at that on the top of the mouth. On the, and you're still using that uh, tube? Yep. And, uh, and I'm, these pre I'm presenting my lure so slow. Oh, that's dude. been the key to our success today. It's been a very slow presentation. This we're is we're the just darkest, dra dragging darkest. that. Yeah. This is the darkest smallmouth we have caught. Look before. at his belly, how dark his belly is. Show, let's yeah. see his belly. Yeah, look, look at how dark that belly is there. Awesome. What a beautiful fish, oh. man. You got to get a picture of that. All right, we're going to weigh this guy, get a picture, then we'll come back for the. Release. Yep. This guy looks. All right, Casey, okay, so let's see that six pounder one more time. We weighed it on the scale six pounds even. Six pounds just, even. The biggest giant. bass of the trip. And, and that is definitely your PB. I don't think I ever got a six pound smallie. Yeah, this is my PB. The belly on the Let's thing. see that belly. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me look at that belly. What a gorgeous fish, man. That is a six pounder. All right. Sweet fish. Let's get the release. What yep. side are This side. This is the more sunny side. Six pounds. Six pounds, Smalley. What a gorgeous fish. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh. Ah. Uh, she 
straight down. Sweet. What an awesome fish. Six pounder. Made that's the trip my, today. My PB. That's probably what? Equivalent to like an eight pound bass? That's amazing. Just on the tube, man. And this slow speed presentation. And this, I've caught so many fish on this tube that, you know, it's missing. And, and, and like you said, the trick is, is this very slow speed. Yeah. Like as soon as I feel those rocks, dude, I'm almost sitting it still. And then, that was, I could tell. That guy, like I couldn't make any ground on him. He was just an awesome fight. And I'm so glad to get that six pounder, man. Awesome.